Welcome to the NGIT website and math podcast. My name is Vanessa and today I'll be covering rules of exponents. Now this, all of these rules apply to when you're performing functions of exponents when, when they have the same base and when they have different bases. Bases meaning the main number raised to an exponent. So first is if you have a number raised to some exponent x multiplied by the same base raised to a different exponent y. When they're multiplied together, the same base, different exponents, you can just simply add the exponents. So a to the x times a to the y is simply going to equal a to the x plus y. A perfect example of that is say you had 3 raised to the first multiply times 3 raised to the third. It has the same base of 3, so you can write this as 3 raised to the 1 plus 3, which equals 3 to the fourth. That's the first rule. Second rule is when you have division. Division is if you had some number x, a raised to the x divided by another number, same number raised to the y, Instead of addition, though, now it's subtraction. So this rewrites as a to the x minus y. Now this can only apply when the base is the same, though. Please keep that in mind. So an example would be, say, if we had 2 to the 5th divided by 2 to the 2nd. This can equal 2 raised to the 5 minus 2, which is equal to simply to 2 to the third. So that's with multiplication and division. How about raising an exponent to another exponent? Say if we had some base a, raise the x, and then this whole quantity was raised to another exponent. It's not the same thing as the bases being multiplied. Now we're raising an exponent to an exponent. So what this is, instead of adding the exponents though, you multiply them. So this is the same thing as saying a raised a t times raised to the x times y. And a, num a numerical example would be if you had 5 to the second raised to the third. This is the same thing as simply 5 raised to the 2 times 3, which is 5 raised to the 6th. Now the next thing you remember is that when you have any number, doesn't matter what it is, any number raised to the 0 is always 1. Always. Any number raised to the exponent of 0 is always going to equal 1. The next rule is sort of a distributive property, but for exponents. Now say you had two different numbers multiplied together. We'll call them a times b. And then their product was raised to an exponent. This exponent could be distributed to each individual um, expression. So this is going to be the same thing as a raised to the x times b raised to the x. So let's do an example of that. If we had, say, 3 times 5 in parentheses, and, they were, and the whole thing was raised to the second, or squared, it would be the same thing as 3 squared times 5 squared, which would be 9 times 25. And the final rule of exponents is deals with the inverse. Now inverse we've al I've already discussed in a different tutorial that it can be expressed as if you have a number a its inverse is simply 1 over a. Well there's a different way of expressing that without using a fraction. Technically, this a here, 
because it has no exponent visible, we can assume it's a to the first. This can also be expressed with using a negative exponent. a to the first in the denominator is the same thing as a in the numerator, but with a negative exponent. So and then so we've in that so that is a numerical example. We can also rewrite that as let's say if we had um, one over two x. If you wanted to write that not as a fraction but as just a regular num regular number, it would be two over x because that's what was in the denominator. So we just flipped it all raised to the negative one. Not to incorporate an actual no more exponents. How about this? One over three to the sixth. The same thing is equal to three to the sixth, but instead of a six, it's a negative six. That would be the inverse, or it wouldn't that be the inverse, but it would be the same fraction, but written as in the numerator. And then this also can be expressed as if you had, say, one over a, or let's say, use the same expression, one over three to the, three raised to the six, just as we use the distributive property to bring an exponent in, we can use it to bring an exponent out. So one over three, the whole thing raised to the sixth. All of these quantities are equal to each other. So thank you for visiting the NGIT website. If you need any further assistance, please feel free to stop by the CAPE or the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment located in Kufrian Hall, room 200. Good luck in your studies.